how do you get a job at Valve? So that was a question asked for me in a DM. I can't link to DMs like I can questions in the public, so it kind of stinks. I'll just have to go with this. Uh, don't. I mean, don't make that your goal. This is a this is a younger developer, I think still in high school, looking to be like, hey, their dream job is working at Valve. That is doing a classic thing that I talk a lot about on this channel, and that's confusing tools and goals. Working at Valve is a tool to make good games, but your goal should be to make good games, right? Or, I mean, I assume that's your goal. I'm assuming it's just not to get fancy t-shirts. Uh, but so to do that, then you're going to be, you're going to go through high school. Um, now you can make an indie game on your own there, or maybe you're going to go to college, a design college. You're going to have some point where you're like, I'm ready to enter the professional game space. I have built some tools, repertoire, understanding, knowledge. You're going to go, and you're not going to start at Valve. Um, that's a rarity. There's a few people, but that's a rarity. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go... Um, Start with an indie group, you're going to go start with a big giant AAA dev that just needs to fill seats. I remember being on a panel with somebody from Ubisoft that said they take only the top of the top of the top artists. I'm like, what, the top 30,000? Because you guys got a lot of artists. Not to say that Ubisoft artists are bad, I'm just saying like they got a lot of artists, right? And so if you're a junior artist, they hire junior people. Uh, Valve doesn't hire junior people or um, really do traditional internships, um, mostly. Uh, but so right, so you got to figure that out. So you're gonna you're gonna go there and you're gonna learn something. You're gonna be like, hey, I don't like working at a AAA dev. I don't like the facelessness of it. Or you may be like, I don't like the pressure of working in an indie team where I feel like, oh my god, we're gonna go under if I don't do everything right. Uh, there's a there's a person, uh, uh, a couple of us at Valve admire at Valve who just walks in every day, does their job, walks out, and never complains, never talks about anything, never is controversial, never really gets into it. In meetings is like, you decide, I do it. I can't be that person, and I, either can Eric and the other people involved in the conversation, so I think we're kind of jealous of that, but equally, like, maybe that's you, and that's cool, and then you could work at a big place like that, and you'll be happy. Or maybe it's going to be that you're going to need to have that autonomy and be able to have agency on what you do, and you want to work on a smaller thing, but right, there's trade-offs for everything is what I'm trying to say. And as you look at Valve today, are you looking at Valve today, or are you looking at Valve from yesterday, right? The Valve I joined was 75 people uh, trying to figure out episodic content and linear form content. Uh, the Valve I left was very different, right? I joined pre-Steam. They didn't even, I mean, well, I guess Steam was just starting, just starting, just starting, which is good. It's good when you get stock options to be on the just starting part. Uh, but, uh, right, like, it changed. It's different, right? So sometimes people ask, like, why didn't I go back to a game team after I had done kind of like the, the PR stint thing or the biz dev stuff around VR and then I was just doing general Steam stuff. Because I was a different person then at Valve, right? Where you don't know most of the people who work at Valve, and they're they're mainly more smart, that more smarter than me. See, uh, and they're just kind of not faceless, but this is the kind of the way they work, and this is the way that they organize in Excel, and so you don't hear a lot about those people. And I would be coming back to the team where some people knew me as Chet, the Chet who got some redditors sent flowers and did these talks and all of this stuff, right? Um, and so me coming back into the team is gonna be disruptive in a way. Not to say that I'm some great person, but just the dynamic of would be different. And I have an understanding of that. And I was, you know, talk to some people there. Now, I don't wanna be disruptive. I really like everybody there and I really like what they're doing and there's really smart people there, right? I mean, Robin Walker's heads down, just pounding out a bunch of content, right? Like he's not going off and doing press tours anymore because he learned. Uh, early on how bad that is uh, but so like right like there's there'd be clashing going on and stuff and so it didn't it didn't make sense for me to come back there even though it was a company that I really appreciate and I really like we had both changed and it didn't make sense anymore and so you might change you might decide you really just want to be an indie darling artist because you love making really weird crazy frogs and that's all you want to paint for the rest of your life I don't know right like seriously don't underestimate how weird you get internally over what motivates you or what excites you because it's different for everybody and you will learn the thing or maybe you know now but the thing should never be go work at valve or go work at blizzard or go work at anywhere i mean look at blizzard like if you would have been like oh my god i love uh the first war cry right it was war, war cry not war, war well you know what i'm saying one of the early games uh oh my god uh but right like and then all of a sudden like now it's the blizzard that's known for a lot of other things um, well, Diablo 4 is fine, uh, but like it changes and it always changes. And so don't, don't make that 
Go, don't make the tool working at some place the goal. Maybe the goal will always be, you know, what do you really want? Do you want to be a great artist, designer, um, engineer, whatever that is? Make that the goal. Work for that. And then at some side point, you might be like, hey, I'm really successful and Val's asking me to come work there. I'm going to go work there. Like, And it's the place I want to work because they're back to making a ton of games, right? I mean, again, like when I started Valve, I, we shipped Episode 1, Episode 2, TF2, Portal, uh, Left 4 Dead 1, Left 4 Dead 2, uh, and Portal 2. Uh, and all the DLC and everything in that. That's all stuff I shipped within the first, like, six, seven years. Um, that's a lot of stuff. I worked there for 12 years. We shipped a lot less stuff after that. Um, right? So it was a different company even for me. Um, so again, don't don't make that the goal. Make the goal be, be the best of whatever you want to be, and then you'll find opportunity from that.